Craig Ford, Cyber Unicorn. Uh, welcome to Cybersecurity Asia 2024. Thank you, Chris. It's pretty exciting. I've first international trip, so I was pretty okay, excited. Okay, great. Doing it for a cybersecurity talk is awesome. So. Great. Well, Brisbane boy, uh, talking cybersecurity, but that's one advantage of cybersecurity. It's an international language. Um, interesting uh, presentation this morning. You tend to talk in stories. I thought yes. it was always a, a good thing. You've uh, writ written a number of books as well. and, and the, So it sounds like you're definitely a writer and uh, you like to express yourself in that. But it does come down to some basics. Uh, maybe your key takeaways from your presentation this morning uh, it was on the shadow, uh, the shadows, shadows of the digital world. Yep. Shadows of yep. a digital world. Um, but yeah, what's, what's your general takeaway for end users and, and organisations that you work with? And it does uh, sound like you keep it to the basics as well. I do. I think that's it's quite important. I think a lot of organisations they put in sort of you know those really flashy blinky light solutions like the really high level controllers and. A lot of the time they spend a lot of money for these solutions, but they don't normally implement them properly. So yep. normally what I recommend is most of the time is really focus on that core foundational basics first. Get the backups right, get your MFA right, get your foundation security patching and everything else right, get that solid. And then yeah, you can move on to that sort of yep. higher level cyber strategy stuff and sort of really sort of pick up that maturity. But if you don't get the foundation right to start with, obviously your building's going to fall over, your, your foundation's going to crack if you don't do that right to start with. So. Um, and you're a virtual CISO for a number of organisations, yes. you mentioned them, but what do you find most of uh, your clients are grappling with, particularly around, say, strategy? What, what uh, sort of cybersecurity strategy and how does that align to the business strategy? I think a lot of the organisations, I guess, you know, for the theme of this sort of, like this event is like around the AI, a lot of them, their users are wanting to start to use the AI and sort yep. of integrate them into their day-to-day -day sort of operations and how they do work. But a lot of organizations are grappling with how they control, particularly around data. Because if you bring in, say, you know, Microsoft's Copilot into some of those environments, they really don't know the data they have in a lot of different places and you, you let that loose and you never know what kind of data is going to come out in those sort of random searches and the AI will get access to. So I think sort of a lot of it at the focus at the moment is around understanding data so the real deep data principles and uplifting that maturity yep. and that understanding about what they have what they got and then sort of then moving into integrating AI so get the data right first get the foundation right and then sort of move on and before we integrate too far too quickly into the okay. AI world but and who do you find you, you tend to deal with in the organization you're dealing with the CEO or C, CIO or do you tend to talk to the boards as well it's sort of a little bit of both because I, I do a lot of you know boardroom hypoth hypothetical kind of conversations yeah. and things like that. But generally, in most of those sort of V size of engagements, I get a bit of interaction both on that board level. Um, but my most interaction is probably more that C suite where I sort of integrate with the CIO or you know any of the sort of senior management team to try and sort of integrate that into their policies and yeah. their procedures and how they do things. And just probably more around some of the comments like I was doing on my talk this morning and just around getting them to understand, you know, stop and think about this. Is this really the right move for us security-wise as well as our day-to-day -day operations? So yep. have that security mindset a little bit, if okay. that makes sense. And maybe a bit about Cyber Unicorns. You've got Kyle here as well. Yep. He's from Melbourne. But yep. yeah, maybe a scope of Cyber Unicorns now? Yeah, so Cyber Unicorns essentially was sort of born out of, I guess, my passion to sort of drive primarily that cyber education in, you know, your general public kind yep. of space. I really, you know, I've been talking about it for years, I've you know, done quite a few interviews and I'm going, oh, someone needs to really you know, focus on your mums and dads, your seniors, and yeah. really drive that education. But no one was really doing it. And I'm like, I kept talking about it and kept talking about it. And I'm like, I've got to do it. Someone's got to stand up and try and sort of drive that. So I obviously do, it's a cyber consultancy like most yeah. others. I do those v -Sizo gigs, but yeah, really pushing. That's my passion. That's, that's okay. what I want to drive is that cyber education and uplift society in general give them access to yep. that content that usually is only available corporate -wise, well, when I first said it was like okay that's a billion dollar company in yep. terms of normally a, a unicorn so yep. at least you've yep. got the right name yep. heading in yep. the right direction yep. but Craig Ford safe uh, travels back to Brisbane it's great thank to you. see you here in Kuala Lumpur uh, and enjoy the rest of Cybersecurity Asia 2024 thank you very much it's uh, definitely a pleasure to be here